that's uh, part yeah. of the deal here. You do push-ups, yes. you get beer. Absolutely, that's, you did good. That's the way it works. Okay. <laughs> Buffalo Creek Brewing is a destination brewery. It is nestled in a unique art studio on two acres Ooh. of wooden land in historic downtown Long Grove. Oh, it's so beautiful there. They're here to showcase some of their winter craft beers, sharing what all goes into their beer making process is Mike Marr, owner and brewmaster. Welcome, Mike. Thank you very much for having me. Okay, now, first of all, before we get into like how beautiful the location is, I mean, how did you get into this? I mean, you started off with a little home brewing? I was a home brewer for uh -huh. 15 years. And <laughs> before this whole craft, um, craft beer phase it really kicked in, I decided I was gonna start making my own beers and I started making German and Belgian style beers because that's what I liked. Mm -hmm. And so now we have a brewery that specializes in German and Belgian style beers. And for all the home brewers out there, any quick tips before we get into this? Quick tips, sanitation. Keep everything clean, uh -huh. sanitize everything. The other is uh, fermentation. You, you gotta make sure that if you wanna keep things consistent, fermenting at the right temperature for the right duration, uh, that will get you a consistent beer every time. And I love this because you are of the uh, the old school traditions, the European traditions. You also have the festival coming up of the Alpine Beer Garden. Yes, the yes. Alpine Beer Garden. Yes, I tell love, me about, about that. About the yes, I was trying to. She's, <laughs> she's, she's a woman of many accents. Yes. I will tell you that. Uh, so every year, I, I do a trip every year with a bunch of friends um, that where we go to um, Europe and we ski for ten days and mm -hmm. a lot of racing and a lot of fun. And I decided to bring this back to Chicago. And in the first couple of years we did it, it was okay, we're gonna set up outside. We're, and you know, Chicagoans are supposed to be hardy. We, we can yes. handle the cold. So we set up fire pits out there. We, you know, I spent a lot of time doing firewood these days. You know, open a brewery, become a lumberjack. Yes. And uh, so we have that, we have the fire pits out there. We have the live music out there. Uh, last year, it was fantastic. The snow was falling. And what happened was everybody got there and then the snow started to fall. And it was like a, a being up in a Wisconsin lodge. And uh, this year uh, we have um, uh, Fork and Fries, our food truck that's gonna be there. Nice. So they're doing the poutine and you know all those nice warm um, comfort foods. The hearty food. The hearty foods. We got all the warm, uh, all, not warm beers. We do yeah. have a hot buttered beer, but oh, we do yes. have our cold beers. And they're all a little bit heartier for this time of year. And then the other thing that we have is we do have a uh, Alpine band coming in they're bringing, you know, the Alpen horn and all nice. that. So it's, it's going to be just like Oktoberfest in January. Fabulous. Talk to us about a winter beer. What's the difference yeah. between that and more traditional beers? So we have some of our ingredients mm -hmm. here. And so we have our, um, our barleys. And mm -hmm. in the middle, I have some hops. But uh, for the barleys, we use a lot more of the lighter colored, which, what we call our base malts. Mm -hmm. And what that does is that provides a lot more food for the yeast to eat, creates a higher alcohol content when our beers typically have a little higher alcohol. Mike, can I start tasting? What you is can this start here? Tasting. Okay, right. mm -hmm. so what do we have here? This is a Scotch ale called Shire Aberdeen. It's mm. uh, It's got, yeah. you like that? Oh, it's got it's gingerbread lovely. spices in it. So we mm. had a theme mm. this year where we went all gingerbread during the month of December. We actually decorated the brewery as a gingerbread house and we had two gingerbread house competitions. Aww, that's so great. So fantastic right. beer. And what's this? Next one, this is the Hollows. It's our Russian mm -hmm. Imperial Stout. Mm. And it's got uh, a lot of vanilla bean in it. Yeah, gorgeous. Wow. Mm -hmm. What do you okay. think, Jeremy? That, it, it's not bad. Uh, the <laughs> it's next not one, bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Um, <laughs> he told me he wasn't much of a beer drinker. Uh, first, so I'm learning. We're, we're, I'm we're learning, learning with your tutelage. So, so this and, one yep. is the same as this, mm, but fruity, but with raspberries. I knew it. See? Oh. This is good. Mm -hmm. This I like. Yep. Yeah, I, everyone loves that one. Yep. And the last one, now mm -hmm. before you guys try this one, you know, this is a German sour ale called okay. a Goza. And Gozas are, uh, they have a little bit of sea salt in them. Mm -hmm. They have coriander in them. And then mm -hmm. this one, we flavor it with lemons and blueberries. Oh, mm. light, refreshing, a little effervescent. Yep. Beautiful. Yep. Wow, I can tell there's a lot of uh, craft and quality that grows into your beers. We, it's we, beautiful. We spend a lot of time perfecting what we do. We, you know, we have a whole array of uh, beers. Come on in, you know, check us out. The um, the tap list is always changing, so if you want to see what's online, go on our website. I love it. As I make changes, it automatically gets populated. Well, I'll see you at the Alpine Beer Cotton. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Sarah. Hey, to taste these winter beers yourself and learn more about Buffalo Creek Brewing, head to buffalocreekbrewing.com.